Welcome. In this video, we'll show you one of our favorite things to do in Live 9.5, and that's using the new sampler and the new Instant House Breaks mode to take a break, uh, chop it up into single shots, and make a new break out of it. So to start with, I've got a break that I like, this Let Roll break. Great, so let's drag that into Simpler, and we've got that in Slice mode, and so now we've got these slices that Slice was by Transient to play with. That's awesome. And the next thing we want to do is put Instant House behind it. And Instant House is a device built a few years ago by Alex Kidd for generating house patterns, and it has options for patterns, and you can shift those. It's got swing per part, shift per part, which means these things slip off the grid, and velocity high and velocity low. Now, for the purposes of speediness, I'm going to go to this channel where I've already mapped everything properly. You do have to make sure that you map the notes correctly for kick, snare, and other parts with Instant House. The other thing is I put a velocity device here just to keep everything in check for the whole, for everything coming from Instant House, even though they do already have the high and low controls per part. So what I've got here, I'm going to turn a few of these things off to start with, because what I've done is I've gone through and put some effects on it to make it sound a little nastier. But let's just start with the raw break, sequenced by Instant House and Breaks mode. Let's, see, let's hear what that sounds like. So that's not bad. That's pretty cool. And it's a sample break, so it's already got kind of a little bit of that vintage flavor in it. But now let's bring the volume down because I'm going to add some distortion with one of the new filters. So there are these wonderful new modeled filters in Simpler and Sampler and, and a couple other devices in Live 9.5. So I've enabled PRD, which is a Moog Prodigy filter, and I've put some pretty aggressive drive on it. Let's hear how that sounds. Already you can hear a lot more of kind of a thwack on there, and that's, that's in following the legacy of classic samplers like the MPC-60 or MPC-3000, which had analog filters. Another thing classic samplers had, uh, the MPC-60 and the SB-1200 both had this, is 12-bit sampling. So we've reduced, the, we've reduced things to 12 bits. I put a little bit of downsampling in there. I've also added some dynamic tubes to represent some of the distortion you might get from a cheap old mixer and other old analog gear. And finally, some EQ to kind of open things up and make sure that the bottom end still comes through after all that distortion. So let's hear what that sounds like. So great, that's our new break. And if we don't like it, we can randomize the patterns quite easily or the swing or the shift, all using Instant House here.